Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this shaded shape as you can see in this figure whose base length is square root of 54 and whose height is square root of 24 and now we are going to find the perimeter of this shaded region and just keep in your mind that the perimeter is just the boundary length as I have highlighted over here. In order to calculate this perimeter, we must know the length of this line segment, this one, this one, these all individual line segments as you can see all of them and this is the only length that we know we have to think outside the box the good thing is that all these angles are 90 degrees as you can see all these are right angles they are going to help us a lot and here's our very first step to make things simple let's go ahead and create imaginary rectangles as you can see over here and here's the definition of rectangle it has four angles each measuring 90 degrees the opposite sides of a rectangle have the same length and are parallel and we can see that all these angles in this rectangle are 90 degrees so that means this side length equal to this side length and they are parallel as well this side length is equal to this side length likewise this side length is equal to this side length this side length is equal to this side length and finally this side length is equal to this side length and this side length is equal to this side length and here's our next step let's go ahead and move these tiles this tile this one and these three tiles we are going to shift them move them vertically and since we know that these lengths are same so they can fill the gap easily so this is going to be shifted upward as well and we have successfully filled these gaps as you can see and in this next step we are going to move our these tiles horizontally this tile is going to move to the left over here this tile is going to move all the way to the right over here and this tile likewise is going to go to the right as well so these gaps have been filled successfully as well and here's our big rectangle once we have filled all these gaps and we know that this base length is square root of 54 and this height of this rectangle is square root of 24 and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the perimeter of this big rectangle and here's the perimeter of a rectangle formula p equals to 2 times a plus 2 times b where our this side length is lowercase a and this side length is our lowercase b so now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula so the perimeter equal to 2 times a in our case is square root of 54 plus 2 times b in our case is square root of 24 now let's focus on this square root of 54 i have copied it down over here and after simplifying this one we got 3 times square root of 6 so therefore we can write this one as square root of 54 could be written as 3 times square root of 6 plus 
And now let's focus on this square root of 24. I have just copied it down over here. And this has been simplified to 2 times square root of 6. So therefore we can write this one 2 times square root of 24. I can replace it by 2 times square root of 6. So let's go ahead and simplify this thing. So this becomes 2 times 3 means 6 times square root of 6 plus 2 times 2 is 4 square root of 6. Let's combine the like terms. So that is going to give us 10 times square root of 6 is our perimeter. So thus the perimeter of this given shape turns out to be 10 times square root of 6 units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.